So the first thing that I want us to do is we are going to take a pencil and we are going to flip our paper over so that we can see where our pencil lines are on our paper. From here, you are going to take your pencil and draw what you want the top of your monster to look like. And you are going to draw what you want the bottom of your monster to look like. But first grade, I want you to listen very carefully. What I don't want you to do is something like this. And draw no. your pencil lines like this. I do not want you to make something that's really, really small so that when you cut it out, it's this tiny little monster. So what I'm going to have you do is start at the side, go up to the top and end at the side. Start at the side of the bottom, go to the bottom and end at the side. So for example, I'm going to come out and I'm going to go do a curve line and then I'm going to give mine a horn and then I'm going to do another line and give it a horn and then I'm going to go down to the side like that. And then on the bottom, I'm going to just make mine, I'm gonna make mine with a curvy line, kind of like. Okay, now I have my head drawn out and I have my bottom drawn out. So now what I can do is take my scissors and very carefully, first grade, try to cut the best that I can on my pencil line. And this way I'm cutting out the shape of my monster. Now remember, you don't want your monster to be too small. So you shouldn't be cutting a lot off. Like you can see my little scrap pieces are very small. You shouldn't be cutting a lot off because you did a really awesome job of drawing and painting. And I would feel really sad if you cut all of that hard work off. So you can see now my head is cut and I have these little scraps like this, and then I'm going to flip it over. And again, really carefully with my scissors being super safe and careful, I'm going to cut the bottom curvy line that I made. And it doesn't have to be perfectly on the lines, but just try your best. And now you can see like my scraps, I really don't have that many of them. I just have the top scraps and I have the bottom scrap, but now, my monster has a shape. So you want to make sure that you draw the head on the back of your piece of paper, you draw the bottom on the back of your piece of paper, and then you take your scissors and you carefully cut that out. Okay, so that's going to be your job right now. 